Hello, welcome back, and welcome to part two. Uh, so here we go. Um, robot mode. So I like this robot mode. Um, you know, it's very G1 esque. Some of the colors are a little off, but you know, once again, I I'm not really big of a pit, uh, nitpicker on color. It's more the long lines is does this character, you know, look like, and you know. Uh, if, if he looks like, and kind of pays a homage to the original character. Um, so, you know, Sword Bolt, his arms can move up like so. He can't do any real, uh, uh all the way twirlies, and that was his, that was his missile. Yeah, he has a spring-loaded missile that can be launched like so. I'm going to take it out. Um, you know, his, he swivels here at the arm. His elbow goes up and down. You know, his head goes almost all the way around. It's kind of stopped by his enormous backpack. That, yeah, that he has sound effects in this mode, which, you know, that's it. He just has machine gun fire. His legs go up. His, his knees bend. His foot goes like so. His legs can go out like this. All in all, you know, not a bad guy. Not a bad figure. You can you can pose him in really cool poses, and that's really cool. He gets a ten. He, he's a he's a really nice looker in robot mode. Now transformation. His transformation is fairly easy, and whatnot. Uh, I I do kind of like his transformation, but it, it has it, I have some problems with it as well. So you just fold the feet up like so. Take this. You take this bit. And you just, you take his head, push it in, and then fold in his hands, like so. See? Then just twirl this around. Don't put the, don't put them in place just yet, because this is what you're going to have to do for here. You're going to take his legs and, kind of like the original Silver Bolt, fold them up into his body, like so. So, oh, did I not, yeah, yeah, he's just being a stubborn little bastard. And it's folded up like so, there's a little pagan hole, Fill, uh, slip it in there, then, you know, plug in his hand bits to these little slots right here, fold this down, and bring up these things. And you have him in, you know, jet form. His transformation, like I said, is fairly easy. And you can put his gun right here, like so. And, but, once again, it's really easy. So it's, you know, it's kind of not, it's, it's not really all that great. I mean, it's fun, but it's not all that fun at the same time, if you know what I mean. So I give him a 4 for transformation. Really close to a 5. So maybe a 4.5. Any case. Um, now, vehicle mode. Vehicle mode, uh, he he looks great like this. But as soon as... Yeah, can you see the robot fo robot mode here? Because I sure can't. <laughs> uh, anyways, once again, um, he has sound effects in this mode too. So let me do that for you. He's got his jet engines, which light up this back end here. He's got, yeah, that, his machine gun fire again. And then he's got that. And just so you can see it, yeah. Flashing lights. Hey, <laughs> flashy, flashy. <clears throat> Anyways, but once again, he's a really great looking plane like this, but as soon as you put him down like that, he loses the dis the disguise of being a plane. He it's like, oh, there's a robot underneath that plane. No, there isn't. It's just a plane. There are no robots here. But in any case, um, so is really he really suffers from the fact that he has all this robot kibble here. So, he gets a three, really. Um, now it is 
nostalgia factor. Well, I mean, you know, originally he was a condor plane, which condors are no longer existing. So, you know, why even bother? So, why do that when no one's going to really recognize him? But he makes a really cool other, he makes a really cool new different plane. Uh, he's some kind of stealth bomber, I believe. Uh, which, you know, and once again, he just looks great. He has a big, long legs like he had. Oh, and he also transforms. He does a transforming noise. How cool is that? That if that's, not, if that's not cause for a perfect 10 for nostalgia, I don't know what is. So, you know, long legs. He, he just looks like Silver Bullet, and he's, he, it's great. Playability. Um, once again, he's, you know, he is really hindered by his huge backpack that he has. But, you know, once again, he's still fun to play with. He's not as fun as, like, Cyclonus with Nightstick or whatever, but he's still pretty fun. I mean, and his, and his weapon is pretty damn cool. And, you know, I like the look of the gun with the uh, missile, or the, the spring load missile in jet mode. I don't really like it in robot mode, so... You know, but you know he gets he gets a nine. But I mean, you know, this is a great figure. I recommend buying him. He he's just he looks really cool, and you know it gives your Autobots a little bit more air. Excuse me, the hiccups. Gives you a little bit more air power to your Autobots. I mean, along with him, Jetfire, and Power Glide. You should have a pretty formidable um, aerial force. You ever notice that you know the the flying Autobots uh, recently have been freaking huge? I mean, you know, this guy, you know, and um, Power Glide, and then Jetfire. They're they're all pretty big figures, and you know, all the other flyers for the Decepticons are, you know, deluxe figures, so, I mean, they're really outsized, I mean, th sure, there's more of them, but how many, how much does numbers count when they're dealing with sheer freaking size like these bad boys? Anyways, I'm probably going to be doing an another, um, you know, inspiration for my comic book writing video next, that's what I really want to do, so, you know, if I don't uh, hopefully I'll see you next time, and I hope you liked this video, and uh, if you didn't, go suck it. Anyways, this is Excalibur saying, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice. Later, guys.